Right now I'm being illuminated by the light of our Christmas tree. Jeremy and I kicked off our Christmas season tonight by putting up our tree and decorating it. So tonight we're going to do something Christmassy. We're gonna get on a train and go see all these holiday lights. It's gonna be really cute. Okay, I'm excited because I'm breaking out the pea coat. 66 degrees, so not that cold at all, but any excuse to wear a coat, I'm gonna wear it. Playing with his tools. Not playing, Erica. I'm preparing to do man work. Yeah, there we go. You're not gonna wear a coat or long pants or anything? As long as 66 degrees outside. Okay, you're gonna be cold on the train. Okay, he changed. And now we're on our way to Starbucks. Oh, that's actually really good. Hey, Jeremy, what'd you get? Chestnut praline latte. And I got um, a caramel apple spice with no whipped cream and no caramel because they can't have dairy. It's got flavored apple juice. Just apple juice with syrup in it. Mm -hmm. It's actually really good. Pony rides. Okay. Pony we... castle. <laughs> Pony castle. <laughs> there was a drawing. Um, that this little girl made for her dad. She drew this castle and a bunch of ponies and she wrote Pony Castle at the top and it was P-O-N-E-E. -E. C-A-S-L. Pony Castle. You can smell it. Yes, you can smell the ponies. So, oh, wow. Oh, dang. Well, it looks like there's a really long line. Not sure if we're gonna be able to go, but we have 40 minutes until the last train ride, so hopefully we will be able to make it. I really hope that we're gonna make it. This line is super long. There's the line. It's really disappointing. We basically got in line and then people were saying that they only they stopped selling tickets at 5 p.m. Yeah, I don't know why people were still standing in line then. I'm confused. But looks like our chances were slim anyway. So we're gonna do something else. Yeah, key and peel. Did you ever see that key and peel? What about non-stop though? With Liam Neeson. Okay, we decided to come to the Americana because <clears throat> we were just about 10 minutes away. So we totally. Are... Love it. <laughs> so now we're looking for parking. <clears throat> in it. <laughs> we're just racing up to the top here, in it. 24. 24. That's our winner, winner chicken dinner. 26 right here. This is where we're going to do it. It's going to work. It's got to work. This is where I'm going to park. Oi, are you leaving? Where are the 24 empty spaces? Oh, there's one! There's one! We uh, found one! Uh, <laughs> Parking! A resounding found. success! <laughs> it's, just, it's just a little bit crowded here. Just a hair. I actually expect Apple store, first off. This Apple store is huge. We're looking at the iPad minis now. We might need one for our business. I got way too hot though, I took off my coat. Doesn't really feel like Christmas in LA. Definitely the prettiest view from an Apple store. Oh, it's so pretty. What are you looking for? Space and astronomy. Medicine. The human brain. <laughs> this is hilarious. <laughs> Stranger feelings. But the, the Muffin Brothers. brothers. Hey, oh That's the gosh. sheriff. Yeah. <laughs> Who is it? Barb. Barb. This is wonderful. The book that made Anthony Bourdain famous. We're going to reveal the inner workings of how restaurants work. When you go out to dinner, you're basically eating like two sticks of butter. And don't eat fish on Monday because it's probably leftover fish from the weekend. Stuff like that. New Orleans barbecue. We just saw two guys from um, from church, but we didn't tell them hi because they were just kind of running away really fast in the opposite direction where we were going. Hey, what's that? What Looks that? like a balloon. I think a little kid lost one. Oh, they're doing virtual reality. We just saw the strangest hairdo ever. Ari, but I was hoping you would be Peter. Only this weekend of the year would it take us 24 minutes to get back to home from Glendale. Usually it'd be 45 minutes to an hour. That's good. Uh, Frankie like Valley. So high. Apparently she was only 16 when she recorded
started this. I don't know if that's true. Christmas tree I think she was very young. Party up. Maybe she was like 13. What? We just looked it up and Brenda Lee was only, she couldn't have been older than 14 when she recorded Shut this up. song. All right, we're home. We got some food. Jeremy's snacking on some salsa right now and he likes it a lot. Then we're gonna go to sleep. So we will see you next time. Good night.